Hi Virgo, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your reading for the next 72 hours. So through the 10th. Ooh. And you've got cards flying out already. What we're going to do is look at the situation and look at your person and their energy around the situation. We're going to look at your energy around the situation. And then we're going to clarify a little bit and pull some romance oracle. So here we go, Virgo, what is going on? And as always, we're talking to our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light, because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And this is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Here we go. The situation. Your person's energy. Your energy. What's coming toward you that you don't see coming? And then we will get some angel oracles. So I first want to look at Virgo, the situation. The first card that we have is the three of pentacles. So this situation is talking about, first of all, some kind of third party situation and third party situation can include someone who is another lover but it can also include someone who is a friend or just someone who's kind of getting in the way of your relationship. Could be a family member. So there's some kind of situation that's happening where um, something has come to an end around some kind of energy coming into the relationship, outside energy coming in. This is also something about self-validation rather than seeking validation from outside Okay, so clarifying that is the Ace of Cups. So there's some kind of new beginning in love after this commitment of three perhaps has ended. And yeah, this does look like there is some kind of unfinished business. Okay, it's all coming together, Virgo. We've got some unfinished business with that end of the third party supposed to be an end to this third party. It's supposed to be like getting that shattering thing that's coming in and messing up the energy of the two. There is a lot of love here, but there is some unfinished business when it comes to ending outside influences. Okay. So that's the situation. Your person that you're thinking of is first talking about some things that are hidden, hidden secrets. This can be deep emotions. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgo. This can be deep emotions. This can be deep hidden emotions. This can be secrets and different things. I feel like, I feel like this person is trying to balance out what it even feels like is the past, but these are like past hurts, past deep emotional wounds, but this person's trying to balance that out. And the last card clarifying that is the page of pentacles. They are, I do believe that your person that you're thinking about, I mean, this could be you Virgo, but I feel like this is your person's energy. They're trying to end a situation here or they're trying to keep something that was in the past in the past. And this does look like deep hidden emotions or secrets from the past. They're trying to balance it out. They're trying to make it copacetic somehow. But then your energy around this Virgo, you're like, kind of get me the hell out of here. I'm moving on really quickly and I'm releasing themes and patterns that don't serve me and themes and patterns that don't serve me, serve me are lies. So you're like not dealing with lies. Virgo, you're like, I'm not having it. So energy that's coming toward you that you're not expecting. Here we have the lovers reverse. Somebody is very upset that you're ending something. They see you. This is a new calling. This could even be a new relationship. What? Okay. And then I'm seeing here you are, Virgo. Here you are. This could be being very independent. It could be you being single, but it could be you being very independent and like, I don't need this kind of thing. And you really don't. The thing is, this person is really uh, nervous about you finding someone else. 
they don't want, they know you're a catch Virgo and they don't want you to, they don't want you to be with somebody else. Let's get a little advice around this. So energy that's coming toward you is kind of like they're upset around you being available. And your advice is to stay strong in your own rules and your own worth. Like, no, you can't treat me like that and expect me to give you all of my love. Huh? So that's some advice there, Virgo. Let's look at the angel oracle here. What do the angels want to tell you about this situation? In the next couple of days here, Virgo. Wow. So you're, you're right on the money, Virgo. The time has come to clear your energy, release your ex. Whew. So this is either you releasing this person because they have some, some things that are not completely sorted from the past, or this is about them and you recognize that they need to release something from the past. So that's what you're, you're like, yeah, that's the problem. Let's pull one more. Wow, yep, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This, with that nine of pentacles, this is you attracting somebody because you are single and you are a catch Virgo. And that is what's going on there. And your person that you're thinking about, they do not want that to happen. Oh, let's just ask, what's their next step? The person who is coming toward you or the person who you're thinking about, what is their next step? What are they? What are they planning on doing? Oh, I think they're planning on coming toward you, letting you know how much you hurt them. That's right, Virgo, how burdened they are with the ending, with the ending that you created. Both of these are tense. So they're coming toward you, letting you know how much they don't want you to go, Virgo. All right, keep me posted. Let me know how this resonated with you and I'll be back in a couple of days. Bye Virgo.